Hey guys, this is Michael J with PC for Seniors and uh, today's video is all about how to uh, rearrange your icons on your desktop. Um, this is your desktop and these are your icons. Okay, so I can make a big mess on my desktop like I'm doing now. Uh, and they're just all over the place. All right. So, um, if you have icons all over the place and you just want to arrange arrange them uh, really nice and neat, uh, I'm going to show you how. So, what you can do is uh, right click on your desktop, not on an icon, but anywhere on your desktop. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to choose this spot. I, I'm going to choose this spot here. So let's um, let's choose this spot here. Now I'm going to go to arrange icons by and you can you can either arrange your icons by name, by size, by type or the date it was modified. So just for grins uh I'm going to choose by name. So there are the icons all nicely arranged by name. So now I'm going to right click once again. I am going to arrange icons by size. Now, doing this uh, will arrange your shortcut files by the size of your uh, shortcut files. The size, whether it's large or small or whatever. Um, so, let me do this again. And I am going to right click anywhere on my desktop. Arrange icons by type. So there they are. If you had um, some files that were maybe uh, files that you use for Microsoft Word, uh, and we had a, a ton of files, uh, Word files or doc files, it would pretty much put all those documents in one uh, cluster. Okay. And if I had uh, image files that I used for one of my, um, you know, Adobe products, it would uh, put those files all in a cluster next to each other. So that's by type. Um, I like to do it this way. I like to have most of them arranged anyway. It didn't really matter because I, I, I get used to where they're at anyway. But uh, I use Photo Impact a lot, so I'm going to push that out. Um, I use, uh, where is my, uh, Mixmeister Pro 6, I use that. Uh, let's see what else I use. Oh, I use Google Chrome. So the icons that I like to use the most, or the softwares, or the browsers that I like to use the most, I'll push out. Okay. And then, you know, you could just fill in uh, whatever you want there and push that up there and there you go like that now um, what Microsoft uh, actually uh, Windows the operating system Windows XP uh, has is the ability to um, uh, manage or arrange the icons uh, and align to grid so I can check the align to grid and let me show you really quick how this works uh, I wanna, I'm going to uh, yeah it's already checked off align to grid so I really what I did is I right clicked range by range icons by and I checked off align to grid now watch when I try to move Internet Explorer okay it doesn't let me move it unless I move it really good and even that was not good okay so there it is so you have a grid so let me show you where that grid's at see there's your grid so you have a grid that goes down this way and then you have a grid here that goes down this way and then you'll have another imaginary grid that goes down this way so I'm going to push this over to the other grid okay and this is already in its own grid as well so I got one two three four grids just here and I could uh, for example swing another one to this grid here alright so now if I take off the grid arrange icons again right click on the desktop arrange icons by and remove the align uh, to grid I can now move this ever so slightly and it'll stay I can move this really next to this you see how I'm doing that 
Okay. Oops. Uh, okay. And there. And all right. So, um, you know, you don't want that obviously. So you want to align to grid. Okay. So there they are. Align to grid. And and that makes things a lot neater because I mean you could like I said I mean you like you just saw I could have them really next to each other and you want them nice and uniform so that is how to arrange your icons on your Windows XP desktop. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped you out. If you have anything else that you want to learn that we don't have up yet, by all means leave a comment down below and please subscribe. We um, we welcome you to subscribe and it helps us out. Uh, once again, thanks for viewing our videos here on PC for Seniors, and have a great day. Bye-bye.